when I'm outside St James's Park, we in the fourth round draw, but my God, we don't do things the easy way, do we? It's the Crystal Palace match, folks, so stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to Black and White Band and Newcastle fans. If you are new to this channel, you've just stumbled across this video totally out of the blue, drop down, give us a little one of them, goes a long way, and give us a subscribe if you stick around for this video as well, or just give us a sub subscribe anyway. It goes a long way. Well, it's dark, it's a Wednesday night, and I've got a ticket stub in my hand instead of my season ticket. That can only mean one thing, it's cup night. Team news has just come in. There is changes. I talked about the match preview. I didn't want to see too many because I really want to have a go at these cup competitions. Shelby's in, which is, I'm pretty happy about that. I think he was, I was devastated for him when he got his injury. St. Maximin's back in, which is going to excite a lot of Newcastle fans who wanted him against Southampton. He's going to be chomping at the bit. We know what he plays like at St. James's Park in front of a full house. The defence is a bit choppy changed, so Lascelles is in. Dan Burnt, a centre-back, which I've got no issues with at all. Nick Pope has kept his place, which I'm happy about. And Joe, Joe Linton's in the midfield as well. I didn't expect Wilson to play with the illness on Sunday and the World Cup round the corner as well. Is he going to be in? Is he not? So that's no surprise to me that Chris Wood's leading the line. But all in all, I think that team shows where our squad depth is. And I'm pretty happy with that. I think Eddie Howe was always going to make some changes as much as I didn't want them. And looking at that side, I don't fear these at all in front of a packed house. Plenty of players on, off, on the bench, the likes of Bruno, people like that to come on and really influence the game. Almiron in the form of his life. And also, Elliot Anderson's playing. The Geordie Mar Maradona, what can he do? Let's get over there and find out. Are we the lads? One of my favourite things about walking in the ground is the closer you get, if you can just see the lights, it just gets louder and louder. The sound of the stadium comes out in the streets and it's just incredible. Oh, I love match days. <laughs> say about that one I don't want to be too negative but that was pretty shit I think all of these players have come into the team to try and cement the place in the side or just get Eddie Howe thinking haven't done that at all I think I don't want to go hard on too many players but I think Lascelles in that first half has made himself stand out as a player who is one of the only centre-backs in the club who kind of pass the ball looks very lethargic when he's on the ball Give away a couple of daft fouls. Elliot Anderson's getting played on the right. I don't really think that's suiting him. I'd rather see him a bit more central. And as I said in the preview with Chris Wood, when you play a striker like Chris Wood, it changes our style completely. There's no one running behind. There's no outlet really. Apart. He just wants everything static to his feet. And he's looked very, very poor up there, sort of by himself. Mankiro on the right-hand side. I mean, he's he's not a patch on Trippier, is he? So he looks... I've always had a soft spot for Man Keo, but compared to Kieran Trippier, I mean, I didn't want too many changes going into this game. And John Joe Shelby, as we know he likes to do, is the only man who sort of seeked the ball out in that first half. Longstaff looks a bit lethargic. Joe Linton, well, you know what you're getting with Joe Linton, you're getting full energy, but he's not the man who's going to create anything. Maximin just looks frustrated on that left-hand side. He's tried things that haven't come off, but we haven't had that intensity that we've talked about that we have under Eddie Howe. We haven't kept the ball. I mean, the first 10 minutes never seen us as bad could not string five passes together so I'm a little bit shocked at how bad we've been there I mean when you make as, as many changes as what we have I think there was only two survivors from Sunday's game you expect things to look a little bit different on the pitch but that was terrible and if I was anyhow yes I'd get them to book their ideas but I'd also be thinking about making some changes because that Palace team was re is really weak and they've probably been the better team um, really really poor really really shocked there's a full house tonight atmosphere is obviously a bit slow because it's a cup game so there's a lot of kids and people who don't normally come to the matches you could maybe argue so the atmosphere is not the best but really really poor 
um, and I've been caught off, caught off guard by that so they really need to book their ideas if we're going to be in that half for the fourth round something needs to change in that second half so if I was Eddie Howe I would probably think about making a couple of changes because his, his bench is pretty strong but disappointing really really disappointing I'm actually lost for words how bad that half was so it can only get better in the second half I hope how are the lads penalties it is I'm joined by Graham, who's just come out the stadium after that, well, dramatic penalty shootout, but not the best of games. Graham, what did you think of tonight's match? Like I said, not really too many talking points in the game. Two teams who came out for the game who were what it looked like the first of frightened of getting beat. Not a lot of creativity between the two teams. Um, from what I've seen, two shots on target, one from either side. First half, second half, I think we came out and. Had a little bit of a go at them, and then I thought that we made some positive substitutions in terms that we had a go at them, but still didn't manage to create some chances. So were you frustrated that those substitutes didn't come a little bit sooner, as I think a lot of people in the stadium were? Obviously, we trust Eddie Howe, but he did make a couple of them quite late in the day. I think Eddie had a, a couple of things in the back of his mind, i.e. players being called up on international duty, mm -hmm. um, which obviously... The, the players themselves, I think, had a little bit in terms of, yes, I want to play and I want to progress for the team. Um, frustrated that they didn't come on a little earlier, and once they did come on, they made a positive impact on the team. However, I thought, going into the penalty shootout, which it looked as if it was going to go to a stalemate, I thought Nick Pope was absolutely outstanding yeah, in goal. And I'm joined by Matt, who was at the game. Matt, not too much to talk about there. Um, not really too many positives from the actual game itself. I think you're just happy to be in the next round. What did you think of that? Um, as you say, the game itself, like, it's, um, yeah, they, yeah, the game itself, there were a lot going on in the 90 minutes, but Pope, what a signing he's been. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is like, like in the CFE, he should be, he's got to be England number one. Yeah, Surely, well, with a penalty saves like that, interesting. he's got to be yeah, England number one. I was just saying one. that to the last gentleman yeah. I spoke yeah. to. That I'm sure Southgate will be told that he's just yeah. helped us win a penalty shoot. I'm sure he'll be watching the highlights. I'm joined by Andrew. He was at tonight's game. Not too much really to talk about from the actual game itself lots of changes from Eddie Howe what did you think of that tonight's game was a bit um but it was a bit iffy uh obviously with two halves between Palace and Newcastle um it was a bit sloppy should I say but I agree um obviously I was expecting a win just to go straight through but obviously we had to go into penalty shootout mm -hmm. Um, obviously, he made a few changes second half. Sven Bortman came on trip, yeah. So just just based off that team that started, yeah. do you think that there's any players who staked the claim and knocked on Eddie Howe's door tomorrow and that training ground said, you know what, I'm pushing for that to be back in that first team in the league. Do you think anyone who came in did that or not? Um, like, like, I don't think... My target, I don't. My target for me, like he didn't really, he didn't really had a, 
a good game. He was a bit sloppy at the back. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I like my target, and I think he was very harshly done by it and not still be in that defence. Yeah. But, yeah, again, I, I don't think he had the greatest game tonight. Do you think there was any players who came in today, like fringe players, who staked a claim at all from tonight's performance um, or not? Matt, like, I do like Matt Target. Yeah. I, I, um, obviously, Dan Burns in quality as well. Of course. So, and that's how, that's how Matt Target's staying out of the team. Of course. But having those two as the options, I'm happy with that. And overall with them for the whole season. And the question I've got to ask, because it's only the third round of the Cup, we're now in the fourth round. Can we? A lot of people are talking about Europe. Lots of people, all people are talking about Europe. No one's really mentioned the Cups. Can this team, full strength team, of course, can we mount a cup run this season? I would like to think we could. We have the, the team to do that, certainly domestically, whether we're good enough to play in Champions League at this moment in time with the current squad. I don't think so. We still need a good few additions to that. However, domestically, I think we've got more than enough in the, in the team. So will you be booking flight, uh, flight? Will you be booking hotels in London for Wembley? Yeah, my son lives in London, so I don't need to. <laughs> can we get to Wembley? We all love it, wouldn't we? Can we do it? I'm putting you on the spot there. Yeah. Can we do it? Um, uh, to be fair, I don't see why not. Yes, that's what I like. So, are you gonna are you gonna be booking your hotels in London pretty soon? Then I hope so. <laughs> the, the Wembley's not until February, so. <laughs> hey, bright London prices, you've got to get get in there early, I tell you, those prices will skyrocket. Aye, they will. They, uh, you have to get them in by maybe before Christmas. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking that as a very confident, yes, we might see a game at Wembley this season. Yes, we might see, we might see Wembley this season. Fantastic, I'm loving that confidence. I'm going to give you the question, that's, I've seen it on Twitter a couple of times this week, it's an interesting one, there's only one answer for me. Top four, or, win, or actually win a cup this season? I got a trophy. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. I'll be exactly I, I, the same. I got a trophy. This um, like because we're building. It's not say we're not building for one season. We're building for the whole lot. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's the, like, we're building the youth team. We're building the women's team, which is doing amazing as well. So can There's, we? Can we get to Wembley this season? The draw's got to go right. Yeah. But we got this. I think we got the squad and the manager and everything going right. For is that a yes? Well. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you've got your hotels for London book then? Yeah, well, I, live, I live down that way, so I'm alright. <laughs> I'll stay at yours then. Yeah, yeah, well, Gloucestershire. <laughs> Whoa, we threw. We are in that fourth round draw, and I guess that's all that matters with these early stages games, but early stage games, but my God, that was actually, you know, I don't want to make, I don't like to make dramatic statements, but that was probably one of the worst performances at home under Eddie Howe. I think he would probably agree with that. I think he's going to be very disappointed in that dressing room. Lots of changes made. Was there really any players who came into the team tonight who staked the claim and knocked on Eddie Howe's door to be breaking down that first team that's doing so well? I don't really think there was. Um, I think even John Joe Shelby, one of the more experienced ones who came in tonight, didn't really do much. Matt Target for me, who I actually really like, to see a natural left back on that left hand side was probably my main my main bonus of tonight but Elliot Anderson we're all excited to see him he didn't do very much we just never got going it was just pretty shit <laughs> to sum up and um, their goalkeeper had nothing to do and then the substitutes we all wanted them Trippier came on in the second half Bruno came on and my god if there was one player who proved how important he is to this team and how influential and how good he is Bruno just turned it around, as did Trippier with that outlet. And then Almiron came on, had our best chance in the second half where he put it into the keeper who saved it. But wow, that that for me, you don't want to look into these games too much because like I say, with a lot of changes made, there's going to be a little bit of a dysfunctional team. They're not used to playing together, some of them. We know Mankeo's not as good as Trippier. We know Lascelles isn't as good as Botman and Shah and so on and so on and so on. But we're better than that. You know, it was just sloppy passes, misplaced passes, a very slow lethargic. That intensity that we love to see under Eddie Howe, that's, that's, that's a stable of his game, was just n non-existent tonight. And that's why I think Eddie Howe will be disappointed. But we threw. We did it the hard way. Nick Pope, you absolute legend. He's won us that penalty shootout tonight. A couple of fantastic saves. And Bruno, if you're watching this, we absolutely love you. We love you to pieces. I wouldn't be too bothered if I found you in bed with my missus. But that penalty, mate... Oh, God. 
I don't want to watch that one back tonight on the highlights. He tried some sort of long run turn when he should have just buried it. Don't like to see that sort of... It looked quite cocky. Um, I don't even like to say a bad word about him, but at the time of the penalty shootout that that was, Nick Pope's bailed him out there by saving after that. But we threw. We threw. I think Eddie Howe's got food for thought now going into that next round. Will he make as many changes as this second time round? I'm not sure. He went full strength against Cambridge at the start of the year in the FA Cup and he lost, so... He'll have expected more from them fringe players tonight. And I thought, even the likes of Lascelles, our, our, our club captain, he didn't stake a claim for a place in the team at all. None of them did. Um, not going to come down too hard on Elliot Anderson, as I mentioned, because he's still young, he's still learning the game. He's played on the right-hand side, but very disappointing game of football. Very dire game of football. Crystal Palace, I think, looked like he came for a draw. They wanted penalties. But we threw, and that's all that matters. I'm not going to be telling me ma. Um, that I won't be home for tea yet because Wembley's still a long way off but after speaking to the fans tonight a lot of them think we can go for this if we obviously keep progressing fourth rounds just before Christmas who knows lots of people talking about Europe I just wanted us in that hat and I was so happy to see us through on to Chelsea on Saturday no cup games to worry about for, a, for about a month last game before the World Cup but hey we can go to bed easy tonight because we are in the fourth round for the, Carab for the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup is still to come and who knows with this Newcastle team under Eddie Howe. Carabao Cup fourth round, FA Cup to come and third in the league. If you like this video, Newcastle fans, drop down, whack that like button, it goes a long way. Hit the subscribe button if you've lasted this long and I'll be touching down for a Chelsea match preview and lots going on before the World Cup starts. <sighs> One more game before the World Cup, I'm pretty sad about that. But hey, on to another game closer to Wembley we go. I'll see you on the next video. Tell me, mommy, ma, I won't be home for tea.